Hello everybody, welcome back to Feldy Farming Simulator 11, map made by Farmer Yeah, I'm having a ball in here, and I realize this is an old game as I've said many times, but I hope you're enjoying kind of a journey into the past too, to see this wonderful map that really never got uh, the credit I feel that it deserved, uh, deserved at the time. Farming Simulator 11, and it's still a wonderful map. Well, I've been doing some more work on this here combine. If you recall from the previous episode, uh, you know, I know I've talked about installing auto combine, you know, which I'll get set up here and ready to go again. And of course, this enables our combine, kind of like you see here, to travel around the field, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can turn them loose in a field. But you also may recall that I started this combine, well, let me get rid of the HUD, kind of over here in field number 10. And it has a look ahead feature that detects where barley is. And I don't know exactly how it works. Maybe it goes to the closest source of uncut barley, maybe. Uh, sometimes it turns a corner perfectly. I would think the closest source would be uh, right in front of it. And, and even as I say that, I know that can't be. I do know there's a trigger way out here, 40 meters, that looks for barley. And so I know there's always going to be a little bit of fight with that. And I know I could shrink it, bring it closer. But I think, kind of like I described last time, it has caused the poor combine to go in circles. And also on the last uh, episode, we discovered another issue, which is having autopilot kills the regular hire mode. You know, here if we look at our uh, menu up here of options, there's uh, you can show the autopilot, and you still have you click H for the hire mode. But as you kind of, if you recall what you saw, it kind of just meandered a little bit in the field. It wouldn't hold a heading, and, and it'll, it'll meander some, you know, right here it's at heading east, uh, 87, 11. It'll go around 87, like if we were to hit higher in traditional mode, maybe as low as 85, maybe as high as 89. It kind of fluctuates in there where the average would be approximately that angle. Well. Autopilot appears to have killed the ability to do that. And I didn't really like that. I mean, I appreciate the ability to go round and round the field. That's very handy. But I also appreciate back and forth because when rows that wiggle kind of like this are a lot harder to pick up, you know, with uh, the baler and some of those kinds of things to clean up the field. It's much easier when they're straight. So one thought I had is we would turn the combine loose, maybe do a round or two, and then we would set it to back and forth, assuming I could catch it in time. You know, if you hire this thing and get it going, maybe uh, if you get busy doing something else, you won't be there to help turn it uh, back and forth. But it didn't seem to work. So whenever that happens, we kind of have to uh, do a little, oh, that's our mission. Mission number two. We're still working on good old mission number two. So what I had to do was try to figure out what was causing the problem. You know, if, um, I don't know if I have, let me see here. Yeah, this is kind of where my mods are. At first, you know, I started looking at these other mods. Well, is it something like um, Update AI? Remember what Update AI is? That's where it it remembers the specific heading direction that you have something going and it taps right into some of the higher the AI combine script of the Giants and the AI tractor to help remember it. it's like well maybe the ad is interfering with autopilot I removed it and lo and behold uh, auto combine kept screwing up higher mode as it was so I I put it back in I knew that wasn't doing that but that's something we can always do when a mod isn't behaving the way we think it is, it, you know, odds are something is confusing it, conflicting with it, or one of those things. But I was able to rule that out. 
So then I wondered, well, maybe it's the name of the script. You know, I have several mods in here that use autopilot now. I have a root crop harvester. You know, we haven't purchased it in game yet, uh, but at some point we will. And I know sometimes it will pull from these other scripts, you know, that also used autopilot. We have that wind rower, you know, over there on the grass that has a version of autopilot. And we had the combine and we had that wind rower out at the same time. Well, maybe when you have two mods and they're using kind of the same script, maybe that causes a problem. So, so I also went in game, I sold the wind rower and tried the combine on its own and it still behaved bad. I mean, very badly. And when you put it on a steep hill, I mean, my combine was turning circles all over the field. It couldn't figure out how to drive straight. It would still do auto combine just fine, but it couldn't do its regular hire mode. So then I thought, well, maybe I'll try to rename it. So it's a totally different script. And kind of as you can see here, I've left it kind of at its own name. I called it, instead of AP Combine, I added another P. You know, so I'm calling it here from the odd description, XML. Change the name of the file, which you can see up here. I totally changed the class in there. And the class meaning the name of uh, the particular script. I just called it AP Yip Combine, so I plugged that in here, um, and it's still in the Combine, and, and that didn't seem to do the trick, although I, I left the name alone. So then it's like, well, the last thing I could think of doing was totally bypassing the script when I'm in regular hire mode. So what I did is I just added something in here. I put in another variable that I'm pretty sure wasn't being used. Call it regular hire mode. Meaning when you press H and you want it just going back and forth like regular, it's going to do something different. So this, uh, this little code snippet I added here, if input binding has a vent, toggle AI. That's when we press the H key. If that happens, then do this. So it's gonna flip flop it, toggle it between modes, and you know it started at false upon load. So if you hit higher, it's gonna turn it into true. Regular higher mode equals not what was in there. So not false would be true. And if if we're on regular higher mode, and if this is true, so if not regular hire mode then we're going to do this so when we're not hired regularly if you will then the stuff that we have in here for autopilot is going to function like normal so i just added this line to encompass everything i didn't indent it and make it look pretty but i got another end tag down here so i put that in update and i put it in up a tick and I think I've explained before, these are the primary engines, you know, inside a script where the game engine is constantly checking to see what you're doing. You know, up in here, an update is looking for a lot of input bindings. You know, so if we're in regular hire mode, it's, you're never going to come to these input bindings because it's totally bypassing it with this little line that we added in here. An update tick is also doing a lot of things, but basically if something happens up here with an input binding, it's gonna do a whole lot of stuff in the script related to what autopilot is about. But again, if we are in regular hire mode, then it's gonna totally bypass everything that's in here. And by bypassing everything in those two, two uh, areas of the script, you're basically bypassing everything else. Now, I haven't tested it in multiplayer. I'm pretty sure this won't work in multiplayer. I think in order for something like this to stick, I need to create a, an event that will toggle this. I need to put it into, um, oh, I need to put it into, where is it? There's a couple on load where it, well, I'm not seeing it here. I guess in other words, I'd have to add it. Um, 
Anyway, I won't bother with that now. I'm only doing this in single player, so that's all I really care about. I guess I just wanted to show a little bit that sometimes to fix a problem, you can just put in a little snippet of code like this, and it was super easy just to add this here, a few bits here and there. The trouble always is, is knowing where to tickle the code, you know, to get it to do what you want it to do. So in this case, I tentatively uh, think it's successful. Now, the problem I know I'm gonna run into, and I'm gonna have to be careful with it, is if I'm in autopilot mode, and if I, my combine's going around the field, if I accidentally hit higher while it's doing stuff here, maybe that'll screw things up. That, uh, that I don't know, because once I hit higher, if I do that, it's gonna totally bypass everything in here. Maybe it'd be okay, maybe it wouldn't. Uh, but I'm just gonna try to be careful to make sure autopilot, if it's on, that I first turn it off before I hit higher mode. So I'm saying all that here maybe because you'll probably catch me uh, messing up. Anyway, let's go back to the game. And here at this point, we happened the last time I stopped it right here, kind of in this corner. So I think what I want to do is rather than continuing autopilot, um, I'm going to uh, set this up here to uh, run on the regular uh, regular higher mode to try to do straight across. So let me see if that's about where it is. I'm going to delete course, whatever's in there. So I think the last time I tried to hire, it was go across. So that's what it's going to remember. So let me just hire it and we'll make sure no error is popping. Yep. And we'll get this going across the field. And as you can see, it's going straight. We popped up to 91. And I think I tried to set it on the 90. I tried to go a little bit lower because I've tested it in here a number of times. And I know there's a patch coming up here that's going to need to feed into the lower part of the cutter. Hopefully we'll, we'll find it there. it's going up to 92. Remember I said it could cycle as much as two. It's trying. And I think on a hill it's difficult no matter how you cut it because it's fighting gravity, well such as it is in the game engine. Yeah, I'm probably going to end up missing just a little bit less. Yep, that's going to be close enough. So we'll see if he turns around the way we want him to. And yes he is. So you may recall I previously tried to hire him going across here and it just didn't work. So anyway, I'm, I think I'm pleased with that. And you know, I can't tell you why he's only taking half of a swath. I think it has something to do with how steep it is in here. That it just isn't able to detect, you know, what a full swath is or maybe it's you know, it probably has to do with something with it being on a level plane where it's detecting the edges and the level plane happens to be where it is versus, in, in other words, trying, it probably assumes this is a flat hill or trying to look at it that way. Anyway, we will let him go and right now, we are basically full of grain, so we're going to hike him down over the hill and go take it to market. I seem to recall we left a tractor down here over the hill that uh, needs to be cultivating, so as we go by, we'll get him going. It's treacherously steep in here. I still have half a mind to come in here and try to smooth some of this off along this edge. Uh, I don't know that I want to go down that hill. Yeah, we're going to scratch up our tractor. Our tractor's already plenty scratched. We have no pride. We'll go right through the hedge. Let's grab a little bit of sauce on the way. And we'll take this down, and we're, again, we're trying to earn a little bit of money so we can ultimately afford the forage harvesting equipment 
and which is going to take us you know more than a quarter million dollars to end up affording plus and we just got some more haying equipment and here's our cultivator so we'll head over here and get him going and he should remember yep he does so we're gonna get him going we'll hop out head back to our tractor and head on down over the hill actually he's almost done with this field as I look at it here so we're gonna need to move him to another place As we continue on the S, as you can see, more and more of our fields are being reduced to dirt. So pretty soon, we're going to have to go through some significant effort to replant the place. And this time, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that by the time we get there, we will have the second mission done. And then we can open, which opens Kelp Island. And when we get down to Kelp Island, I'm going to need to earn just a little bit more money to purchase a special fertilizer spreader that Yip has. And we'll end up making our own fertilizer. I think the inputs, if I you know, looked at the manual, is it takes, uh, it takes kelp, which we can harvest from the ocean, and it also takes biofuel. Biofuel is going to be very commonly used in here. Uh, in a number of processes and one of those is making fertilizer from kelp and this special spreader will take this green looking block of <laughs> kelp fertilizer I guess and we can put that on our fields and the next time we harvest I'm hoping for much much better yields and uh, then that way we can make a whole lot more money as we go that the irony of it kind of is you know as, as we go around the map harvesting what's here is you know we may not even need much money at that point um, <laughs> because we'll have all the machinery we need and at that point it may be just a matter of you know do we want something different oh you know what before I go in here let me check and see oops who the brewery Barney 391 yeah I think that's the right place uh, the brewery's 391 that's the best price so we'll continue on over here and get her sold wait a minute what is up there that's the church you know what I just see a grate up there I wonder what that takes that's interesting. You know what? I don't know that that's identified as a selling point. So now I'm kind of a little bit curious to see what goes up there. Give me some money. Once again, we're not going to make that much money because we're playing on hard mode. So we'll take whatever we can get. I'm going to just take it and put it immediately to against our debt and start paying that off and we incurred the latest debt getting some more hay equipment oh and speaking of that once I get out to the field we're gonna go back to our um, you know I don't know which way is quicker is it quicker to go up this way maybe we'll head back to the field this way Yeah, I'm sure it's like six half a dozen one way or the other. It doesn't really matter. But I kind of like going by the new textures that we put in over here for the waterfall. And it's kind of funny. I since I've taken that texture, which I found online, and I put it over... Oh, see, here's, here's the downside of using that mod. In order to get rid of the jostling up and down, you know, with this thing here, we put in the no collision. Well, now when we're behind the pier of this bridge, we can't see our equipment. So that's the price we paid to have a little sanity when we're driving the thing around, you know, that we're not going up and down. Oh, I can't even hardly drive. 
And we have a boatload of harvesting just to the right over there that we need to come back and do. And that uh, we're going to be doing after we get done over here. We've kind of already taken care of most of the... Where am I going? Okay, I want to go over here. I think I want to head up the line. Oh, my goodness. I can't hardly stay here. This road, by the way, is a model that was embedded in the map. It isn't painted on like most of the textures, so it might be a little ticklish getting on there. Head down the road. Maybe it was quicker going the other way. It's a little more straight shot, less horsing around in the barnyard. Frankly, I almost consider my main farm not even to be down where it is, but almost more rather up here by the store. Yeah, I see I'm kind of back, back in here. So, I probably should have come the other way. Here we go. Yeah, some of these other things. I have a header trailer down here. I have the corn header down there. Oh, huh. I wonder why this guy is still going. Maybe he's done. Yeah, we're going to have to go over and move him. We'll see in a moment here if our combine needs to be offloaded. I'm going to need to fill up with some sauce here. Yeah, when you get to the far northern end of the map, it uh, you don't have as much time. It's a long, long drive, well, relatively speaking to haul all the grain to market down here and by the time you get back to your combine you know it's probably already full maybe we'll find out when we get up here so I don't know what I'm gonna do once we have uh, you know fertilizer and the yields are much greater oh what's it doing here oh probably because it's on a hill it's yeah I think we've noticed this before Oh, and it's climbing the... Oh, for goodness it aches. We have a tree climbing combine. Now that's just ridiculous. I don't know why I would do that. It, uh... <laughs> There's no need. Good grief. Oops, wrong way. Okay, for some reason, it is bound and determined to, uh... Head on up the hill. I'm not sure why. Get off of there. We're not popping an error or anything. Okay, there's some trigger callback error. I'm not sure what that's related to. Oh, it's hard to find good help. Yeah, the one time it came over here and it only took half of a win row, and this time here, I mean, it skipped some, so let's see if he remembers his course. We'll just get him started, put him on higher. Oh, can lead it to water, but. You get up to the you know I I will never understand this I guess I have to clear the course out and give it a new one so we'll do the app we'll just put it on the 90 over here or get as close as we can we'll try to give him some fudge room there Well, sir, you're welcome to step straight ahead, please. Yeah, it's slowly going. Well, you know, I acknowledge maybe I don't have the autopilot all the way figured out. We'll see if he gets up to seven, eight miles. There we go. That's still faster than a combine would do in real life. All right. Take it away. That's, he's doing what he should be doing. Let's uh, head back to our... Yeah, we need to come out here to our... My goodness, I got a cycle through everything. Okay. I always like turning on the, this tractor to rob up whatever it is. It sounds like he's trying to wake up from his sleep as, as he just belches out smoke and all sorts of other corruption. I think he missed a couple little areas up here, so we'll maybe go hit those real quick. Before we take him to a new place and I may just 
freehand the next place. I'm pretty sure I've checked around back of this island and it's already done, so we'll just head over here to the next one beside, but then I need to take him clear down south to uh, take care of the fields down there. But this one here, I may just try to freehand. I don't know if I'll hire him. It's obviously quicker doing it uh, freehand because you can go when you hit the second speed button. Yeah, again, we never do this in real life going this fast. Um, and I think when it does it in the higher mode, it puts you in the first speed mode. So, I guess at least I will do a round around it so we can... Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, these are hard to steer. I know you guys probably all think I'm just a drunken sailor here trying to do this, but some of it's probably the oldness of the game too, there's no, no denying that. And some of it, well, just my ineptitude as a driver, what can I say, hey, we'll get this around, maybe I'll hire it, I mean it's a little field in here. No reason we can't hire it, I guess. But I do like getting the first round kind of around to give it some boundaries. I mean, I don't know what you all do. Ooh, I didn't mean to go all the way through the hedge. At least, uh, at least they don't stop you cold when you go through the hedge. But do you guys, when you hire, do you first give your, your hired workers a boundary, kind of like we're doing here? Or you just turn them loose. And I know on the standard Giants map, they uh, a lot of times the fields are square. You know, it's much easier to just turn them loose and they don't uh, tend to run into things because of the way the maps are designed. You know, let me see if he... Rem oh, wow. I'm beginning to think that this AI update is a bunch of hooey because it doesn't remember anything that you tell it to do every time I'm having to reset these courses. Almost every time. Uh, but it is what it is. Whoa! <laughs> um, I don't know what you call that. Um, I'm wondering if I really have figured out autopilot. <laughs> That's what I was wrestling with earlier. Oh my goodness. And here I come on here and try to say I found a solution for it. It seems like he's going straight enough here. But, oh, interesting, interesting. I don't know what to blame it on. We'll just say it is what it is. And, wow, that's going to be uh, a challenging... I don't know, what's he going to do here? We turn around straight. Looks like he is. I still am wondering if the steepness of the hill has anything to do with it. You know, see when it gets to this end, it's a little less steep. I hate driving over the crop. We're gonna offload him here. But that is really curious. It's uh, it's par for the course as far as I'm concerned. I mean, that's just, you know, a reality of modding. That when you do something in one area of the code, something else, you know, potentially pops out. So, let me see here. I think we're on. Are we? How do we turn this on? Show autopilot info. I'm not popping any errors, am I? I always check my log, make sure I haven't popped or have any errors going on. I think I'm on the right one. Oh, except, yeah, he's going. We gotta get him turned on. I have no idea why that hideous noise sounds. But, okay, so I have him on autopilot, and one of the things I'm curious, you know, I did four rounds in this field, because, remember, autopilot is constantly looking for grass. 
and I want him to stay on this grass in here. I don't want him coming up here and cutting this grass. I don't want him coming over here. I want him down here. And so, you know, I either do that in the past, you know, I would set up literally a, a massive long course. All right, fellow, what are you doing? Yes, yeah, here's some of the trouble. Here's some of the trouble. He's uh, ignoring the app, which tells me he's still looking plenty far ahead. Let me just come back over here. Put it down here and we'll get him going again. I don't know why it makes that noise, uh, but it but it is. My goodness, I can't believe how quickly 30 minutes goes by that there's the bell. We haven't even done a single round on our windrower here as he's cutting the grass. Looks like our combine over there has completed his chore. Let me see if you can make this corner without heading to the side. He made one corner, but let me just try this again. All right, now, now that's behaving. There we go. I know it takes a little bit for him to get turned. I just want him to keep turning. So, you know, maybe what I could do, as I think of this, is I try to think of ways to reduce my efforts, if you will, messing with it. This I could set up a course play to cut the first five rounds using a course, no, 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 don't come down here. And then I could turn it loose on autopilot maybe once it gets to the middle and there's no, no danger of further look ahead, if you will. Maybe. You know, the first time when I did this, the corner that he made was this one down here. He, he turned just fine. So we'll wait just a little bit here and see if he's able to turn it again. Here you go, buddy. Will you turn? Turn, turn, turn. And if anybody in real life has ever operated one of these, no, he isn't doing it, is he? What a thug. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe I need another marker. That's That would be a thought. I could put a marker in the mod, kind of out at the far end. One that would disappear like these do when I get rid of this HUD. And that way I'd kind of know how much of the field I had to cut before he'd be going on his own. But be that as it may we are at the end of our episode thank you so much for coming along i'm enjoying this beautiful map i realize it's an old game but hopefully even uh, anybody looking at this even if you prefer army sim 22 or the more recent versions you can tell that this was a quality build of a unique uh, a unique topography uh, by farmer yeah so thank you for coming along i will see you on the next one goodbye for now Thank you.